Greetings and welcome to Psychology One Online. I'm Norm Reese, your instructor, and I'll be giving you a little tour of the course. First thing we want to look at is these two bars right here. This is the global navigation bar, and this is the course navigation bar. The global navigation bar applies to all of your courses if you have more than one. The course navigation bar applies only to this class. So let's take a look at a couple items on the global navigation bar. Uh, here's the calendar. It's like a wall calendar. It has all of your assignments on there and a few more items. Here's the first day of class. Here's a quiz one is available. And you'll see over here, quiz one is due. So the ones that the due points are set there automatically by Canvas. The ones that say available are set there by me. If it was me doing it, I would have put do on here, but Canvas chose not to. So you'll just have to remember that this little rocket thing here means that it's due, okay? So there's a one-week period here, which is called the due period. And so anytime you take the quiz in that time frame, you have turned it in on time. If you do turn it in on time, then you get an extra one and a half points. If you don't take it in, until after the 17th, then you you don't get the one and a half points, but you still get all the points that you earn on the quiz itself, and you can take that quiz clear through the end of the semester. And that's the same with all 14 quizzes. So there are 14 quizzes and two discussions. Each discussion is three weeks long, three weeks long that you get to work on it, and that's a three week due period. So any time in that three weeks that you complete the discussion one would qualify as being on time. So if we scroll down three weeks from the 11th, you'll see right here discussion one is due. So that's this little symbol here means that it's due. The next day discussion two is available. There are only two of them. So three weeks later uh, discussion two is due. So anytime in that three week period is okay to turn it in. You'll get full credit for all the points you earn. You only get credit for the on time, and that's for discussions is three and a half points, the on time point that you get for turning it in during that three week due period. You can turn it in later, but not clear clear through the end of the course. But the Sunday before the end of the course is the last day to submit all of your posts to the discussion. So either discussion one or discussion two can be posted up through the 29th of uh, July, three days or four days before the end of the course. The end of the course will have, instead of a final, would be the final quiz. So there is no comprehensive final in this class. Now other than uh, there are only points for the, the two discussions, the 14 quizzes, the two, I already said the discussions, the bonus points for turning them in on time, the on-time points, and there will be some extra credit as well. So next on uh, down on the bar here is inbox, and that is Canvas messaging. All of your messages to me, emails, need to be sent through Canvas messaging, not through my personal emails, please. I need to have all, a record of all the conversations we have in the course here. To send a message you click on this, select the course, and for two you would select usually me. Let's put the subject in there and then your message down here and send. It's as simple as that. It's usually set for inbox and so any messages that come to you will be up, will appear here. Click on them and the body of it will appear here. So that's fairly straightforward. The only other thing I, that I need to mention here is the help button. Answer your instruct, instructor a question here or call me is fine. Send a per personal email message through Canvas. Uh, if you have trouble with something in Canvas, use this link right here if you can't find the answer in the guides. The guides are pretty, pretty good. They even have uh, videos to, to watch. So if that doesn't work, click on this hotline. These guys are very good and very quick to answer. Usually within 30 seconds, you'll get somebody. And they, they almost always will solve your problem, whatever you're 
problem is I, I use them all the time myself. Okay, so to get back to the course, you go on the courses. What you want to know about this bar right here is what you see in the dark fonts here will be what you will see. Uh, this stuff you won't. This is my page. Most of the course can be run through what they call modules. If you've had a class online, you know, know what these are. These can all be accessed through the home page. They're listed by chapter here. The first week will have two chapters, but the quiz, and then you'll have two, basically two quizzes in one. So there's only listed quiz one, but it'll be half half as long of questions from chapter one and half as long of questions from chapter two. They're typically 25 questions, so that would be 13 and 12. And then you'll have study guides that will require that only that you read the material needed for these two questions. We need to do that in order to squeeze in all of these chapters. As it is, we're eliminating uh, chapter 13 and no final and uh, chapter 16 takes the place of the final and there's only one quiz in the last week. So everything you need to find really can be found in these weekly modules. Okay, here's the uh, information on me, my telephone number, tech support for internet problems or problems with anything other than the content of Canvas. Uh, you can call this Butte, Butte College Tech Support. Canvas for support, this is the same number I pointed out over here in Help. Okay, so First thing you should be um, looking at is start here, which you're already in if you're watching this video. And you'll see that the weeks are divided into two parts. Week 1A, 1B. Week 2A, 2B. After, after the first week, these are by chapters. Okay. First week has introduction and orientation. That's part 1A. It doesn't have anything to do with the chapters yet. What a what this is is uh, an absolute must read. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, what's due during this week? The, there will be one of these in each week, and in the, in this first section there will be a, something called an orientation and syllabus quiz. To take a look at that, we'll look at the introduction and orientation. But the first thing you need to know, and the most important advice I can give you at this stage, that read all instruction carefully and completely. It could cost you points if you don't and you'll get a better score if you do. I promise you that. This thing right here is what you're watching. So you're going to watch that and this will tell you things like the, the purpose of the syllabus and orientation quiz is to get you familiar with the, the workings of the class, um, the requirements regarding plagiarism, uh, the requirements regarding attendance, and all of that can be found in the, in the readings for right here, avoiding plagiarism. Please read that. You'll need it to pass the syllabus and orientation quiz. Academic honesty policy at Butte College is the second one. And the third one is the syllabus condensed. So this will be the, the regular syllabus, but everything's been taken out of there except what you need for the syllabus and orientation quiz. Now you take that quiz right here, clicking on this right here, and you need to score 100% correct. 15 questions, each worth 0.1 points, so there's one and a half points total that it's worth. It doesn't measure anything uh, about your knowledge of the course, so that's why there's so few points. Okay, You can take this, this syllabus and orientation quiz as many times as you need to. It will tell you the answers that you got wrong. So you can look those up and get them right. So if you did your homework on uh, just prepping for this, it shouldn't be a problem getting all 15 right the first time. When you take this quiz and get it 100% right, that will allow you to essentially proceed with the course. I don't think you're going to even be able to get into the 1B uh, module or take the quizzes. Uh, without getting that 100%. Once you do that, you can begin reading the, the textbook. And the last thing on the list here is to watch this 
uh, video, which is how to post to the discussions. And these are different discussions, so you'll want to take advantage of this video because it tells you all, all about how to do that instead of trying to figure it out on your own. You might have discovered while reading the requirements for the discussion one that you need to uh, do research, provide two research sources, and then provide in the in your essay for the discussion reference lists and citations. If you don't know how to do that, you go to this link here, Writing Tools and Tutorials for this class. Okay, let's go back to start here. We've gotten through introduction and orientation. Now we get to the second half of the first week, which will have two chapters, but the reading is only half as much as usual for each one. Less than less than half of the of the chapter that you have to read for each one. Uh, there, so there'll be two quizzes on chapters one and two. And anytime you see these modules, you'll get the same pattern. You'll get something called Norm's Notes, which take the place of my lecture. So here's what Norm's Notes look like. This one's for chapter one. You'll find things in there like quite a few videos, some interactive stuff, information that I think is important that might be missing in the textbook or clarifying something in the textbook or clarifying a particular concept that's maybe difficult. Here's some stuff that's not in the textbook, critical thinking, which I think is important. So you have some inter interactive stuff and here's a, a, something called a concept clip by me. This one's explaining the fallibility of intuition and common sense. I think you'll find that those are kind of fun. So that takes the place of the lecture. So each each week weekly module will contain two chapters, two norms and notes, a study guide for each chapter, uh, both quizzes for you to take. This one happens to have the first uh, discussion that you can take a look at. So, and at the end of each week, you'll find study guides for the upcoming week. Because the upcoming week and all weeks afterwards will not be visible to you until that week gets there. But if you get done with this previous week early and you have nothing to do, then you can take a look at the study guide and figure out what it is specifically that you need to study uh, for the upcoming week. Now these are divided into 2A. Week 2A is on biopsychology. Week 2B is on consciousness. So you'll get these are divided by chapter except for a couple of things. But most of the mostly this 2B is all about consciousness. Okay? And at the end of the B section which is the last thing you'll usually do, you'll have the available study guides, study, study guides for the upcoming quizzes. So let's take a look at one of those study guides. This is a study guide for uh, Chapter 5, Sensation and Perception. These are going to have some words that are just definitions, and for those you can just look up the definition if they're labeled definition. If they're not labeled definition, uh, you need to read everything on that topic. One thing I forgot to mention in the uh, Norm's Notes, somewhere in the text of Norm's Notes, in some of the Norm's Notes, not all of them, you'll find a, a question that was answered somewhere in the Norm's Notes. And when you answer it, if you send that answer to me in, in Canvas messaging, if you get it right, you get a bonus point. It's like an extra credit point, but it's just a bonus point for that chapter. If you don't get it right, I'll just tell you, you you didn't get it right yet, but you can try as many times as you want. Keep looking for the answer. So there are probably going to be eight or ten or so. There will all be also be some bonus points for turning in your uh, discussion postings, essays, early. Some points for turning them one week early and some points, more points for turning them in two weeks early. Now the other thing about 
Norm's notes is that some of the information in here will show up on the quiz for that chapter. And you won't know where it could be in one of the videos and some of the text. So most of the quizzes will have at least one question from Norm's notes. And those are four points each. Another thing I, thought, I forgot to mention is that this little sign insignia here is something that gets rid of that second menu. So if your menu goes away sometime and you go, what the heck happened to that? A lot of people call me or email me wondering what happened to their menu. Just click on that and it goes away. And uh, so good luck and see you in class.